Hi, I'm Devin Lark. This is my back away presentation. Box man. Next. All right, step one. Statistical questions. My statistical questions were weight of backpack, body weight, gender. Explanatory variables were body weight and gender. Response variable was weight of backpack. Okay, go next. All right, previous research. Previous research has shown that the weight of backpacks does lead to health to health healthy issues like increased risk of scoliosis and lower back pain. So and so that's that's already been proven. They say that backpacks should not be more than 15% of your body weight. Okay, cool. So that's the effect of having heavy backpacks. So I decided to use with backpacks as response variable and see what affects the weight of backpacks. And so I was thinking, oh, maybe we just have people tell us what's in their backpack. But I feel like that'd be too difficult and a little bit unethical for just a survey without like their permission. So I narrowed it down to what is the weight of their backpack? Very cool. Oh, it's social injustice warning. Um, technology in schools, we can all agree that technology is nice because it does lower the weight of your backpack. Technology allows us to bring less things to school because now education has become a lot more digital, like this presentation. Um, and so the injustice is that some school districts and some schools have less technology than other schools. And so students from different schools are getting different education and that's just unfortunate. All right, cool. Next, survey question. Second, okay. no bias, three questions. How heavy in pounds is your backpack on an average day? That's, that's the uh, personal question. That's the question that I asked. The two general questions I used for my statistical analysis were, what is your birth weight gender? And what is your body weight in pounds? Okay, cool. We took the survey in class to 38 students, to 38 data points, 11 and 12 graders, period five, AP statistics, no randomization. Next. All right, cool. Statistical analysis, histogram. Basically, this histogram shows a slight distribution for weight of your backpack. And, and this, the number of students is the y-axis. Right. The mean was 9.8 pounds, the median was 10 pounds, standard deviation was 4.5 pounds, the quartile range was 10, and using the 1.5 rule, there were no outliers. Okay, so what, we, what can we tell you looking at the graph? Basically, the graph is skewed right, so most backpacks are light and moderate, there are very few heavy backpacks. Essentially, very light backpacks are way more common than very heavy backpacks. And um, also, almost every backpack in this class was less than 20 pounds, with two backpacks weighing equal to or more than 20 pounds. Right, statistical analysis by variant. These are the graphs with uh, two categorical variables. The categories were male and female, that's categorical, and backpack less than 10 pounds, or backpack more than 10 pounds, that's also categorical. Essentially, there were five people that weighed their backpacks, and they decided that it was 10 pounds, and so it was actually difficult to decide whether or not to put one of the categories as less than 10 pounds, or less than and, or equal to 10 pounds. But either way, I tested both, and they resulted in the same trend. Basically, there were more female with light backpacks than males with light backpacks. That's what the, the two graphs say. All right, statistical analysis, scatter plot. Um, I used two different variables, weight of the human body and weight of the person's backpack, which are quantitative variables. Um, so the scatter plot, the residual line, the correlation coefficient was r equals 0 0.32 which meant that there was a weak positive linear correlation as shown by the line, um, which means that weight backpacks generally increase as body weight increased. And of course, this is not completely explained by the explanatory variable, but partially explained. And um, one, there was one outlier, body weight of 125 pounds and 25 pounds for the backpack weight. And there was one high leverage point all the way at body weight of 210 pounds. All right, cool. Step six conclusion. So I did find a correlation between body, body weight and backpack weight. I also found a correlation between gender and backpack weight. But there's no causation or scope of generalization because there was no random sampling and it was a survey, so it was not an experiment. We can't use the correlation to do other things. Um, first of all, the data collection. It's not very credible. So they asked a question that required the weight of a backpack and nobody had a scale on them and nobody weighs their backpack every morning to find the average weight of their backpack. So all these numbers are estimations. Can't really do anything with these numbers except for speculation or further studies. We can use the information to conduct further studies. Um, the purpose of this was to know that whether or not there was a correlation between gender and body weight and backpack weight. And so knowing that there's a correlation does help us determine what future studies could be. We could look further into what causes the correlations. I think it's probably just behavior. Um, step seven. 
design another study. All right, brainstorming. Since heavy backpacks are bad, I decided, how do we lighten backpacks specifically for students, right? What makes backpacks heavy? And how are the most common heavy things? What? What did I say here? What are the most common? What are the most common heavy things in students' backpacks? Do an observational study where we find the things frequently in students' backpacks. Procedure. Randomization. Sample will be taken in a random stratified cluster. Right. Strat is grade level. Cluster is all students in a classroom. And then this is the process. You use repl replication because there's like 30 people per cluster. Randomization to ensure that we can generalize about the entire school. Stratify stratification for a grade level because I think that grade level would affect the weight of the person's backpack. Right. Because harder classes and AP textbooks or whatever. Um, I would record the data on a chart and then make a bar graph for a number of occurrences. And then just a table for the average weight. Designing on the study continued. All right, the limitations of this experiment. Of course, we have to respect people's privacy, right? We can ask to weigh the stuff in the backpack, but they might not let us, and that's in their right. So we won't be able to accurately measure what's in everyone's backpacks because people can just refuse to not let us weigh the things in their backpack. And also, this would only apply to Oxford students, and the data might be skewed of because of that because it wouldn't represent the entire school, or the entire district, or the entire city, or the entire state, because I think our school's weird. Does not account for block schedule and teachers, right? It says, since we have block schedule, people bring different things on different days, which is why it would be better to take an average, but I wouldn't want to do this multiple days. Um, lastly, strengths of the study. I think the data can still be used to determine the main cause of heavy backpacks in our school. And then knowing that would help us uh, infer what factors will help lessen the weight of this backpack. And if I can just guess, it's probably notebooks, textbooks, and we can guess that technology is good at lessening the weight of backpacks. So this would verify that or refute that. And that's it. Thank you.